chaos being joined by Charisma for the first time what seems like months for me. It has been a long time since we've seen Charisma and I'm very impressed that she's going to be out here, but also I'm slightly worried for Culture Inc. But like we've always said, La Familia, they run the most numbers. They do it. You know, the most interesting fact about this thus far is the fact that it is Aiden Cristiano and Jonathan Vega out here in this matchup. The last time this exact pairing of La Familia came out, they won Tag Team Gold against Hawks Airy. That is very true. Thank you for the history lesson. I can always count on you to brush me up, and I remember that match, actually, as Luke Hawks was a trainer of mine, so seeing them lose the belt was shocking, to say the least, but it is impressive what La Familia has been able to do here at Reality of Wrestling. This is definitely going to be a very interesting matchup as we have two former tag team champions going at it here for the very first time, or at least this iteration of these teams, as Eli Knight and Malik Bo City of Colts Ring are looking to try and win back those tag team championships. And Brittany, they've been making waves all over the United States as a tag team. They most definitely had, and what you say, two former tag team champions going against each other, they might be climbing up the ranks to try to go for those titles yet again. Either of these teams, I, either, either of these teams, I feel can really give the Heat a run for their money, or maybe even fly them if they are able to capture the gold later on tonight. That is our main event here for Christmas Chaos. But right here, right now, we are shaking the entire foundation of the tag team division. Because, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, this is the hottest tag team division that you will find in all of professional wrestling. I 100% agree with you, Kirby Carry On. This tag team division here at Reality of Wrestling is nothing but straight fire. And right there, doing it for the culture, is Culture Inc. Eli Knight is one of the most amazingly athletic athletes I've ever seen, and I feel like that's redundant saying that. But ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, as soon as you see Eli Knight fly around the ring, you will just be wowed like no other. Oh, it's La Familia! La Familia immediately going after Culture Inc. They know how dangerous this team is, and they're going to take any shortcut that they have available. Is it a shortcut, though, or is it a great tactic in order to separate the tag teams and get one-on-one -on -one action when you're two? I feel like it is whenever you add uh, pressure to a quarterback. It's like, oh! Eli Knight already out of the gate showing off what he can do. It's Malik now goes up to the top rope, and look at this. Catches Eddie Cristiano. Oh! The action is fast, immediately out of the gate as Culture Inc. is taking the fight now back to La Familia. I expected nothing less but fast-paced action here when Culture Inc. is in the ring, but La Familia taking a little bit of a relaxation outside, trying to rethink their tactics here. Now they're trying to regroup. That initial strategy didn't really work out. And now La Familia trying to slowly pick up the pace here for themselves as Jonathan Vega seems to be the legal man to start out this contest against Eli Knight. Obviously, the resumes of these two teams speak for themselves. We know that they're both oh. championship pedigrees because they've both been reality wrestling champions prior. But Aiden Cristiano won away from the Grand Slam, I believe. He's going away the Texas Championship is the one that is eluding him thus far. But right now, he's worried about becoming a tag team champion once again as Eli Knight manages to clear Jonathan Vega. Look at this. This man's got the hops. Oh. Charisma's out there. They see Eli Knight. I wonder, though, Brittany Allen, with Aiden Cristiano and La Familia, really, you never know who the two they're going to team together are going to be. You right? never, you never do. So you can never fully prepare yourself. You know, with Culture Inc., you know oh. what you're gonna get, even if you don't. With something like that, to cover it too. But with La Familia. It's a roulette wheel of who's going to come out and face you at any given time. As Jonathan Vega, a massive veteran here of the game, over 
over 10 years of experience going into the cover here. Two. You can't under, under, understate that at all whatsoever because Jonathan Vega and Aiden Cristiano, they possibly have more experience than both of culture and combined. Maybe all three of them combined. El Padrino, the man that is one championship away from the Grand Slam, going for the cover, but only getting a two count. Row Nation seeming split here on who they want to win this battle. Oh. Aiden Cristiano. Talk about his resume for people who might not be aware about what the captain of La Familia has accomplished in his illustrious career here at the Row. Two-time reality of wrestling tag team champion, a former television champion, a former reality of wrestling champion, and you can never forget just a few years ago the war that he had against Gino Medina in that Lucha Extrema. It's a match that I will never forget. We literally broke down the ring because of that match. Oh. I remember the Lucha Extrema well. There's a side kick. Shades of Harlem Heat there from Malik. One, two, and a kick out. Aiden Cristiano familiar with big match situations. And like you said, the Lucha Extrema matches before. He and Gino Medina went one-on-one -on -one for the Reality Wrestling Championship with Booker T as the special guest referee. The Summer of Champions. And just a two. And as you were saying, Brad, he is used to extreme matches but when you're going to especially with culture inc so well synced together as a tag team oh oh man eli not something else guys if you haven't ever seen him wrestle here in person at reality wrestling oh. Or anywhere else oh, oh. my gosh Eli Knight went off the top rope onto the steel ramp and took a nasty, nasty fall. All of Culture Ring is around him right now. But he, that is the kind of game that La Familia plays. They will take any advantage that they can. He might be down for the count, guys. He might not be able to recover after that. That had to have been 10 plus feet falling off of the top there. Oh, look at that. No. Aiden Cristiano now. Taking advantage. Oh. Throwing him back inside the ring. And look at this here. Oh. The double team. Cover one, two. Malik making the save there. Maybe Eli had just a little bit of fight left. Maybe that was just the instinct. But now Familia clearly in the driver's seat right now. Well, of course, they're clearly in the driver's seat. The man fell 10 plus feet onto the steel ramp. He doesn't even know where he is right now. Oh! And Cristiano not going to the cover here, too. But a kick out there from Eli as we see the frequent tags from La Familia keeping the other guy in fresh. This is classic tag team wrestling right here as they're also cutting the ring in half. Oh, snap suplex by John Vega, number one, two, and a kick out. You hear Charisma yelling that that was a three. You know, I didn't miss that at ringside there, Brittany. It was, it was definitely a two, but yeah, the, the screeching, I did, I did not miss ringside. Oh, look at that. Unfair advantage. Went low there. Cover. One, two. And Eli Knight is in bad shape. He is indeed. I mean, just the sheer weight of Adrian compared to Eli here and having everything that has happened to him. Oh just this few moments ago. Cover, one, two, and a kick out. Eli Knight took one of the worst falls from the top rope that I've ever seen, and he is in a desperate way. He needs to make a tag to Malik. He needs to get Malik in if Culture Inc. is going to have a shot at winning this match. 
and he was just fingertips away right there. But El Padrino was able to kick out his hand. And look at that big chop right there. From Aiden Cristiano. Absolutely vicious. And Brian, what do you think this is doing to Malik on the side, having to watch his partner go through all of oh, this? Oh, it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible because what you want to do, I mean, Malik is itching to get in there, and he doesn't want to see his partner go through this. Cover one, two, stand on the far side of the ring. That is another trait of a veteran tag team wrestler like Aiden Cristiano. Keeping him as far away from Malik as humanly possible. It's as almost if Malik was left home alone in Chicago. And Eli's all the way in Paris. But he's not having a good time in Paris, that's for sure. He's absolutely not. The Louvre is not on his to-do list. <laughs> With another tag here from La Familia. They're just doing incredible tag team work right here, but they're not able to put away Eli Knight, and that's the one thing that they've got to do. They've got to figure out that finishing touch to finally pick up the victory, and is now back to the center of the ring here. Aiden Cristiano locking the legs again of Eli. Oh. Eli doing his best to battle out of it. Oh. Can he get up? Can he get there? Can he make it? He's got to get a tag. Oh. oh. Oh, Eli with a bit of desperation. Full contact to Adrian's face, but now he's got to make it to Malik. Can he get there? Can he make it? Eli to Malik. There we go. Malik coming in. House on fire. Big kick to Aiden Cristiano. Ducks it. Boom! And a big close line to Jonathan Vega. Oh! Oh! Big singlet right there by Malik. It's not Aiden Cristiano trying his own luck, but gets oh. the German suplex. And he holds on. Big suplex. There's his twin. Malik is all fire. Oh, Malik reversing and. Oh. oh! Cover. One. No, Charisma. Charisma distracting. And like I said before, La Familia. Rolling in numbers. Now look at this, Nick Holiday distracting Charisma himself. Oh! Oh, and a big slap to Nick Holiday from Charisma. Wait a minute. Oh, and into the post. Oh, runs right to the European uppercut there. La Familia can be just moments away from putting this matchup away and claiming a victory. Here we go. Oh, Nick Holiday. Oh, the holy knee. Up and over. Wait a minute. He's got him up. He's got him up. Here we go. Oh, got him. Stay woke. One, two, three. It's a back and forth battle, but Culture Inc. able to pull off the victory. Nick Holiday has a taste slapped out of his mouth right beforehand, but nevertheless, he's still going to be eating good tonight because this boy's got a big W on a big stage. They did indeed, and the thing is, is it wasn't looking great for them. They all took a beating here, but they managed to come out on top, and this is. A very Merry Christmas for the three of them. Vulturing victorious here in our tag team exhibition between two former reality wrestling tag teams. Still to come here on Christmas Chaos, two championship matches and a first of its kind 
Diamonds Ladder Match to determine the number one contender. We're also going to get a special appearance from the former WWE Diva, formerly known as Victoria, will be joining us here inside the World Gym Arena to make a special championship presentation. It is a night to remember. This is Christmas chaos here at the reality of wrestling. You see everybody celebrating. There they go. Nick Holiday all smiles, and as he should be, his team getting that victory.